Oh, good girl, Flicky. How are you doing today, Jesse? Huh? Huh? Sorry, I need to need to go train. What's up guys, Liam here, and welcome back to LSJ TV. I need to calm the fuck down. Ah, a solid eight reps on 90 kilos for the first time in months. Now, let me tell you why that is such a big deal. This program that I started a few weeks back now, Matt Does Fitness, I owe these gains to Matt. I'm gonna have biceps like him by next week. Coming towards the end of 2018, right, and I set myself some goals at the start of 2018. One of those goals was to properly progress my bench press. When I set that, I hand long hit 100 for one rep. From there, I progressed to eventually getting that for a few and then I kind of just dieted and then maintained and we've kind of been going what felt like nowhere for quite a long time with my training, right? And if you've been watching the channel for a while, you will know that Bench press isn't my strongest lift, and I work really freaking hard on it. And to be honest, it's probably the lift that you guys see me do the most. That, however, does not make it my favorite. It's probably my least favorite lift. I, I much prefer shoulder press, I much prefer squatting. Bench press, I mean, I mean it's up there, it's good, the pump feels good, but the actual movement itself, not no way near kind of up there. But the reason why it's such a big deal is because referring back to those goals, this is, this is me in real life, smashing one of them. I wanted to progress my bench press. At the start of January, I hit 90 kg for four reps, and that was a, a struggled four reps, right? Bear in mind, I was a lot freaking heavier back then. If I show a picture of me in January, you can kind of see just the difference. Check the jawline, I'm 175 pounds now, Around about then, I was probably 186, 187, so I'm 10, 12, maybe even more because that's getting pounds lighter right now. And my bench press has progressed, okay? You see that progression from zero to this. Sort of. No! God's sake! <sighs> Gutted with that, man. I got to eight, I was like, I can go for nine. I can go for ten. <sighs> got halfway through it, <sighs> gone. Look at this. Look at this. We've all been here before, don't lie. We have all been here before. This just shows, guys, if you are consistent with something, if you are passionate about something, if you work hard towards something, you can freaking get there. Look at that barbell in the background. That is almost a war wound of my bench press progress, right? <laughs> Although I haven't been testing one rep maxes like I thought I would, my training just hasn't gone that way. I've just not been feeling it, I wasn't bothered. I'm not about the numbers. However, stuff like this, little milestones like this, looking back on my old videos is so important to me. Keeps me motivated, it keeps me going. It keeps, it keeps me moving forwards with videos, with the gym, with well, just life in general. You need something to help keep you moving forwards. And for me, the gym, YouTube, stuff like that, well, social media in general, that's it for me. Find what you need to help motivate you, whether it's someone around you, whether it's something around you, something at work, something at school, college, uni. Find that thing, once you've found it, keep moving forwards. Now, I don't just mean my bench press, right? Of course, the, the progressing with your bench press is great, you know, but that's not everything. What you can do is pick progression with your physique, pick progression with your studying. Whatever it is, find that thing that works for you and stick to it. 
Put everything you have into it. Like for me, social media, like you, saw, you guys saw the last video. If you follow me on Instagram, you know how hard it was for me to get that out. But I had that focus, I had that drive to get the video out. I drove 40 freaking miles to get the video uploaded and it ended up doing crap, but I don't even care because I'm proud of myself for getting it freaking done. Just like this right now, I just failed my ass on the bench press, right? I don't give a shit because I look back at that old video and I see how far I have come. Every single person watching this video is going to be different. You're going to have a different goal, you're going to have a different story and a different freaking journey to the person sat next to you. That doesn't mean that they're not doing anything. That doesn't mean that you're not doing anything. You do your own thing, you do freaking you, whatever it is that you love. Find it, stick to it, progress with it, stay consistent and you can master that freaking craft, okay? Master that bench press, master that book that you have to read for the exam. You can do it, just do it, stick to it. I think I might try. My trial one right max. What do you guys think? Not yet, not today. I feel like I'm feeling good, but not yet, not today. I feel like I've done too much to push myself for it to be a fair reflection of my one rep max. But what it has done is given me the confidence that I can fucking smash it another time. Okay? Stay tuned, drop a comment if you'd like to see that. <laughs> now before you guys say, this video is about so much more, so much more than a freaking bench press, right? This video is about physical progression, this video is about mental progression. You remember the name of my last series? Growth. This is about growth. This is growth through 2018. We have graduated. We're combining the two freaking series now. The consistency, the first one, we're combining it all and it all makes for a better, healthier, happier Liam. Happier every other freaking body that follows this sort of mindset, right? You can achieve so much more. I try and tell this to people at work, I tell this to people who comment, I tell this to people who message me. You can achieve so much more, so much more than just a few muscles by coming to the gym. You can make yourself feel like a completely different person. It can make you feel more confident, can make you feel more happy. It can make you look in the mirror and be happy, be proud, be satisfied with what you see. You know how hard it is to look at yourself in the mirror? How many people wake up every single day and are unsatisfied with what you see? Come to the gym, you will see progression. You stick to it, you're consistent, you will see that progression. And I cannot even explain to you the mental benefits that you are gonna get from that, the confidence you are gonna get from that. You are gonna walk around taller, walk around stronger, walk around prouder of yourself. You're going to lead a happier, healthier lifestyle. You will eat better foods. You won't even think about it, but consciously, because you are coming to the gym, you will eat better. You just will. And if you eat crap, then what you got to make up for it? You got to work freaking hard in the gym for a little bit. And then you back to normal. I cannot even explain to you the benefits that this has had for me. The benefits that this is how I could do an entire video. Well, I'm kind of, I'm doing an entire, video, an entire video. I could talk quite clearly <laughs> for hours about the benefits of the gym, not only what you're gonna get for yourself, but for those around you as well. You are gonna walk around happier, which is gonna make them happier. Then, they are gonna be happier, which makes you happier. Coming to the gym not only makes yourself better, it makes everybody around you better. And then once you have that good circle of people, whether it's family for you, whether it's friends for you, whether it's work colleagues for you, whatever, could be anything, that list could go on and on and on. When they feel better, you feel better. When you feel better, they feel better. Coming to the gym is about so much more than putting on a bit of muscle. You can achieve so freaking much from it. It's actually ridiculous to think about. <laughs> Oh, no, f sake, man. Uh, 
I have more in me than that. I definitely have more in me than that. But you know what? I'll freaking take it. Let me tell you why. The progress I've seen over the past few weeks, let alone 2018, is mad. To go through so much of a change of, of routine, really, because the start of the graduation series, I had no fucking clue what I was doing. Not a clue. I had no job. I had no direction with my training. I was just sort of doing whatever. And you guys saw that firsthand. I, I, I was a bit lost. And recently I found that again, I found that routine, that structure that I needed with my training in order to progress. And what do you know since then? I've woken up happier, woken up stronger, woken up better every single day. Woken up with the drive, with the ambition to make something, to create something every single day. I would do this every single day if I could. I would make a video every day you guys ask me all the freaking time when can you make more videos i do my best guys i stick to my wednesday and sunday schedule and i put up as many more than that as i can but my bench press progression through 2018 not massive in terms of weight but massive in terms of growth physical progression mental progression I can now bench the same, if not more, at a much, 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 much lower weight. You try, if you've ever been to the gym before, and you diet down for a certain period of time, you lose strength, you do. You lose muscle, you lose strength, because that's what goes along with being in a caloric deficit. To lose weight, you have to be in a caloric deficit. That also, unfortunately, means that we have the unfortunate process of losing strength, which is the battle up here, right? I battled with that for quite a while and never really mentioned that on here. The fact that I was losing strength, I kind of avoided it as much as I possibly could. But now we're at the, the end of 2018, I can now say with confidence that my bench press may not have gone up massively in numbers, but my God, have I seen progression with it through 2018. I, I got asked a few days ago what my one rep max is. I haven't got a clue, stay tuned for that. But. The progression in numbers and the reduction in weight is amazing to me anyway. It's an amazing personal target that I've freaking smashed. And I can't say any more than that. As long as you are happy, as long as you are content, as long as you are looking forward to coming in the gym, leaving with a smile on your face, you can't do much more than that. That's what it's all about. All about progression, guys. All about perspective. All about growth. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, drop a like, comment down below, turn on that notification bell, wherever it may be. Thank you so much. I love you. I appreciate you. I will see you in the next one. Together, we will grow.